It's another absolutely beautiful day in Lenzerheide, which is great news for keeping spirits high at the fox pits on their busiest day of the week. But it's also great for anyone who's planning to hike up the downhill track and pester the athletes with random questions. You could pick any sport other than mountain biking. It doesn't yeah. matter if you've ever done it before or not okay. that you could compete in. What would you pick? Even if I'm not good at it or like Even if you're not it? good, yeah. Well, I don't want to be shit. So... <laughs> Skateboarding? <laughs> I'm, I like riding moto, but I'm not very good. I used to race motocross, so probably motocross. Motocross would be cool apart from the injuries. And hard enduro, there's some good guys there to hang out with. So I kind of like the vibe. Motocross vibe is pretty boring. Hmm. Yep, so be something on two wheels for sure. Motocross. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And I'm assuming you actually ride, yeah? Oh yeah, I do ride. And actually people are asking me when I'm gonna do my first motocross race. And I'm, I'm just not too keen for it because I don't like to be on track with many riders. That's the only thing I'm scared of, but. <laughs> mm, maybe motocross? Maybe even if I'm not like really fast, but I think it's uh, what I enjoy doing instead of uh, mountain biking. <laughs> Might even be a MotoGP rider, but I'm a little bit heavy for that. I'd have uh -oh. to go on a long-term diet. <laughs> yeah. Absolute no-brainer. I'd race motorbikes, I think. Like road racing, probably. But if I was good enough, MotoGP or something. That'd be pretty cool. Can I pick two? Of course. <laughs> I would be motocross and ski freestyle. Do you already do both? No, like, yeah, I tried a bit of MX and but I'm, I suck well of it. Uh, and uh, no, I never tried really do some something on my ski but I would love to be able to <laughs> I would be sick sick so, um, I did quite a, a few things when I was younger like climbing swimming a bit um, running so maybe some of them golf you go to really nice places you get paid shit tons of money it just looks fun man a cruise around on a golf cart with John Daly having some beers it looks like a good time golf that'd be fun that'd be fun to compete in <laughs> I'd say surfing but I'm too scared of the, the ocean I'm not a water baby <laughs> Maybe skiing would be cool. I don't think I'd do very well, but I'd have fun at it. Um, yeah, golf or skiing. Or I'd be a horse rider, because I was a horse rider when I was younger. Were you really? Yeah, yeah. me and Needy have got a few ribbons in our day of uh, horse riding. Cool. It's similar to two wheels, but it's four legs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, probably F1. I just think like the speed and adrenaline that you get from that is probably something comparable to what we get in, in downhill. I don't know, I just think it'd be pretty sick going at those speeds, hitting corners that fast. A crazy yeah. question <laughs> for you. Hey, you hit me with your best shot. Serious. Hit you... me with your best <laughs> no, shot. You just don't mean. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you could be turning wrenches for any other sport, what mm. would it be? F1 would be pretty sick. Like, I feel like that's a pretty easy answer, but fuck, it's fast, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and high tech. <laughs> Like, I'm not. I'm it. nowhere near clever enough to be <laughs> wrenching for it. I can see it, man. I can see yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, they wear too many clothes as well. The overalls would really get me down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe someone on Dakar so I can get my kit out. Yes. This is the new section of the track. Uh, this is where it used to go, which is kind of more the easy way. Like this is just bike park left and right, berms, and the new bit is right here, and it's this magical fairy forest of natural loam. A lot of moss and hidden rocks in there, so kind of depends on how it's going to, you know, evolve and see what's going to happen for well, if you go first practice, but it looks pretty good though, like fresh. And because all these turns were, which were in before were kind of boring and it looks just like new, fresh, off camber, natural, I think it's going to be good. Like the first section is really strange because you have like a lot of grass corners and under is really dirty and rocky and roots, a lot of roots. So it's strange but the rest of the track looks like it's the same so I really like it. We will see tomorrow but I'm excited. Yeah it looks pretty good. I think it's going to change loads. Like it looks quite smooth and fresh on the top but you can see there's rocks underneath so be interesting to see how it, how it develops. I think it will uh, it will change quite a lot. But yeah it's nice to have something different, nice to mix it up and it's not a whole new track either so it's not so much to get your head around so yeah looking forward to it yeah it looks good it's r real fresh so it'll cut up a lot to the flat part it looks good but then they've kind of almost run out of hill and thought it realized they have to cut back onto the the old track so it's kind of like almost looks a little bit enjoyable but 
I think once it gets cut in, it might be alright, but I'd say there's going to be a lot of sh shit that's going to come out and make it pretty difficult. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, it for sure it's all fresh and they need to work a bit on it. Uh, and it's all off camber and it's going to be tricky, but it's way better than just bike back turns. And anyway, it's better to have something new. So I'm super stoked they could do some, some new section. It looks a bit sketchy in some places. There's still like big of rots and, and stem, but uh, I'm sure it will be all right uh, after the first training. Course looks sick. Any change is welcome. A lot of tracks could take note of this. It's so cool. Even if they've just taped it 10 foot right or 10 foot left, and then huge new like off camera loamy section. It's obviously got some sketchy bits, but it's gonna cut in. Anything new is good. And I'm all down for harder tracks because they normally suit me pretty well. So pretty stoked to be back in Lenzerheide. I'd probably pick baseball. Ooh. You make a shit ton of money. You just stand there most of the time and like you train, but you don't have to do anything. There's no other, you know, football's pretty awesome. Basketball's sick. MMA stuff's rad, but you're probably gonna have a short career and be fucked for the rest of your <laughs> life with head injuries and CTE. So I feel like baseball's pretty safe. Track walk day, busiest day for us. And got even busier because we had a problem with both of our vacuum machines that we used to service shock. So for the first, we probably lost an hour, hour and a half, which we don't really have to spare today. We had a panic. <laughs> we were looking at this pile of shock going. Yeah. <laughs> well, they didn't like the altitude and then we had to message Davide, like, guy that we know to get in contact with Andriani and then we found this hidden menu with some compensation offset that we adjusted back in business. It's always busy, like track walk day is always busy so it's a lot to do but it's fine, we'll be good. Jake and I were joking today that being at Lenzerheide is kind of like being at the ultimate summer camp with the coolest people you've ever met in your entire life. And it really felt like that out on track today. There's this build up to this thing at the end of the week. It's like the camp games. So we will see you campers tomorrow for the first day of practice here in Lenzerheide, Switzerland. It's gonna be awesome. That's Imagine how many answer. snacks you could keep in your mitt, like just <laughs> hidden in there. I'd be a catcher because you could fill that thing. Shave? Um, relatively useless as usual. Yep. Um, <laughs> not you. Not right. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant shave. <laughs> Damn, you're useless, Schaefer. Sitting there videoing hey, everything. I'll take it. I'm here. That's all that matters to me. I'm just happy to be here. That's like my baseball career. Thank you.